Hey everyone, my name is Talaya and I'm a group fitness instructor here at The Rack. I'm coming here with a brand new awesome abs workout for you that you can do in the comfort of your own home or you can take it outside and get have fun in nature. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. So we're gonna start with torso twists. We're doing 10 move, 10 of each move for our warm up. So we're gonna have our hips and feet all in line, have our hands at our chest level and we'll rotate our torso only, keeping our core engaged. We're here for 10 reps. So you're gonna start off 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect. All right, and we're gonna take it down to knee hugs. So you're gonna grab our knee, squeeze to our chest. We're here for five reps on each leg for a total of 10. So you're gonna pull it up one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, last one, five, and five. All right, you're doing arm circles, 10, taking five to the front and five to the back. So we're here, one, two, three, four, five, take it back. One, two, three, four, and five, perfect. All right, now we're gonna do some quad stretches. So you're gonna grab your foot and bring it up to your bottom. And you're gonna get a stretch in your quad muscle. We're doing five on each leg as well. If you need to use something for balance, feel free to grab a wall or just hold your arm out really steady. So you can grab it here. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, last one, five, and five. Perfect. All right, so the workout is 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start our timer. Move, we're going down to the rug or our mat for leg raises. So here we go. We're going to have our hands under our bottom, legs extended. We're going to bring them up to the sky and lower them slowly. We're taking this move up in a few seconds. Here we go. And you're going to have that core muscle not wow. engaged. And don't forget to breathe. We're doing this move for three rounds. And each round is 30 seconds with 10 seconds of rest in between. Looking good, keeping those abs nice and engaged. Perfect, keep it going. Let's go ahead and get ready to take a rest. Uh, rest. Right, so we're resting here. For five more seconds, as well as keeping your legs nice and straight. Looking good, looking good. We have 15 seconds here, so we're over halfway through this move. So again, you keep your core muscles nice and straight. Imagine you're pulling your belly button into the bottom of your mat. We have three more seconds here. Keep it up. And water. Rest. So feel free to grab a sip of water and towel off if you need it. This is our last round of these leg raises. Work. So we're taking it back up one last time. Nice and steady. And if you want, you can add an extra hip raise for a reverse crunch here. Or you can keep it here as just a regular leg raise. Nice and steady. We're here for five more seconds. Keep it up. Perfect. Rest. All right, and for our very next move, we have something called alternating toe taps. It's about to complete. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you some information about the alternating toe tap. So we're gonna have our knees bent and lay it all the way back down. We're gonna have our hands extended, almost touching your heels. We're gonna reach from side to side and reach your feet or your heels. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can extend your legs further and crunch a little harder to reach your heels. 
We're working those obliques here. Let's take it up right now. Work. Looking good, looking good. Remember, you can make your legs go further out for more of a, a good crunch. Or you can bring them in closer. We're 15 seconds in. And you keep your neck nice and neutral so you're not putting too much strain on your neck. So you should be able to put a fist in your under your chin and keep everything steady. Rest. Alright, we have six more seconds of our rest. Let's take it back up. Work. Here we go. Looking good, everyone. Keep it up. Reach for those heels. It should feel a nice, steady work in the top of your abs and those obliques. Rest. If you need, towel off if you need to. And let's take it back up in three more seconds. Work. Perfect. Keep it here. Keep working those abs and those obliques. We're almost done with this round. We have 10 more seconds here. Keep it up. You're doing amazing. Three. Awesome. Rest. All right, for our very next move, we're doing something called star crunches. It's about to complete. So what a star crunch is, we're gonna lay on the ground. We're gonna have our body fully extended, hands above our head, legs outstretched, and we're gonna reach our alternating arms and alternating legs to touch each other. So I'm going to have my right arm reach for my left toe, lay it back down, my left arm reach for my right toe. And another option, if you don't want to fully extend, you can reach the knees. So let's pull it and take it up for the star crunch. And don't throw yourself up, we're going to just use our abs to contract our body up nice and slow. So we bring it up and release without swinging the arms up. We're right here for five more seconds of this first round. Perfect. Rest. Go ahead and towel lock if you need to. Again, if you need to pause this video, feel free to do so, and I'll be sure you come right back. Work. We're taking it back up. Looking good, everyone. Looking good. Perfect. Make sure you're squeezing those abs when you bring your body up. And again, you're keeping your arms and legs nice and steady as you come up and back down. Rest. All right. So we're going to enter in our very last round of the star crunches right here. Work. Perfect. Keep it here. Looking great. Remember keeping that ab nice and contracted through this entire move. Nice and straight. Back down. And back up. If you like, you can do a plank hold Work. right here instead. So you're having everything in line. So you can do this move at your own pace if you like, or you can keep it as a steady move and hold it as a regular plank. Perfect. Go ahead and take a breather here. 
towel off. And let's get ready to take it back up. Work. Perfect. Keep it there. Remember, you are able to take it as a low plank and hold it there or hold it at a high plank. Just like so. And back there. Rest. Awesome job. We have one last round of these plank push-ups. So let's go ahead and finish strong. Work. Yeah. If you want, you can do this on your knees. You can have your knees in line with your body. As if you're doing a plank, a full plank. Arms are in line. You can take it low, bring it back up. Take it low, back up. Rest. Perfect, so we're taking down to our very next move of our plank portion. This move is called- It's about to complete. Dips. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be in a low plank and we're gonna rotate our hips to both sides of the mat. So we're gonna have her here in the low plank, spine is neutral, and we're gonna rotate to both sides. This move is gonna work those oblique muscles and get everything nice and tight and make the muscles work throughout this entire move as well as your arms and shoulders. Let's take it up. Work. Perfect. Keep it here. Do the next move. Make sure you're breathing through the entire move. If you're rotating from both sides of your mat, you're getting your hip as low as possible to either side. And you're also keeping those abs nice and contracted. <laughs> Rest. Awesome job. Remember, grab a sip of water, stay hydrated, and let's take it back up. Work. Looking good. If you don't like doing the rotation, you're able to hold it at a slide, a uh, one hold plate nice and steady in a low position or feel free to do the rotation rest and keep it there looking good go ahead and get a nice rest right here make sure you're breathing Last one. work Make sure you're going to keep rotating from both sides of that mat. So again, here how's that look? Just like so. Rest. Perfect. Go ahead and rest right here. I'm going to go ahead and explain the next move. It's about to complete. So this is the plank portion of the workout. So our very next move is going to be in a plank as well. We're doing something called plank row. So if you have any weights or dumbbells, feel free to use those. If not, you can do it without. So for a plank row, we're going to be in a high plank. And we're going to, if you had a dumbbell, you would pull it up and up. Since we don't have those, or if you do, you can just pull it up in your hands. Just like so. There's not a certain amount of time you can have to have your arms off of the mat. Just have a quick little time without your, hand, your hands being on the mat. And you're able to do the plank row without weight. And if you don't want to do that move, feel free to do it when you're just holding your plank as a high plank. Just like this. Rest. Awesome. Keep it up. 
Work nice and steady. Work. Perfect. We're over halfway through this move. Keep it up. I'm watching you. You're doing just fine. You have seven more seconds. Keep it up. You're doing good. You can roll that up. You're getting those arms nice and warm. Rest. Take a sip of water. Work. Last time. In case you don't want to do it in the full plank, you're able to do it as a knee plank. Keeping that core engaged still. You get the same feel of the move, just with less of your body weight. Awesome. You're going to feel your shoulders and biceps working. So again, keep it up. Rest. Awesome job. We're going to go ahead and enter our final circuit of this workout today. It's about to complete. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce the very next move. This move is called Squats to Side Oblique Crunch. So you're going to stand it up. Have your arms by your ears. We're going to take it down to a squat. In your squat, you're sitting back into a chair. Knees are not passing your toes. And your chest is lifted. Once you bring your squat up, you're going to reach it and crunch to the side. Take it back down and to the other side, just like so. Take it down. Work. Getting those obliques nice and work. Five more seconds. Rest. We're taking it right back up here. Work. To break this move down, we're taking that squat all the way down. Bring it up. You have your arms in. You're going to get that knee and bend it right there. So again, down, crunch, back down, crunch, just like that. Rest. Looking good, everyone. Last move, last round of this move. Work. Looking good. over halfway through this move we have 14 more seconds keep it up you're doing awesome make sure you're getting a full crunch to that side and to the other side looking good you have three more seconds perfect all right everybody. rest we're going to go ahead and switch to our next move for us it's about to complete all right for this very next move, we're taking it back down to the mat. We're doing a Russian twist. So we're gonna sit on our bottoms. Lean back a little. And if you want, you can have your legs up and rotate to both sides of the mat or keep those feet on the ground, lean it back and rotate. You choose whichever one you like. We're taking it up right here. Work. Looking good. Make sure you're getting that full rotation right there. And if you want, add some weight. So we use my water bottle and we'll have it go to both sides of the mat. Perfect. Rest. Water from it. <laughs> Let's 
let's take it back up. Work. Again, if you want to bring your, your legs off the ground, feel free to do that. Just like so. Again, take it to the ground if you need. Four more seconds. Perfect. Rest. Go ahead and get a nice catch your breath. And let's take it back up to the final lesson twist. Work. Looking good, looking good. Keep it here. Again, you're rotating from both sides of your mat. So you're going to touch both sides. Awesome job. So you're rotating side to side, keeping those core muscles nice and contracted. As you go, you're rotating and working those muscles. Rest. Perfect. So we're going to take it to our last move of our workout. It's about to complete. All right. For the very last move, we're doing some called 100s. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get in the exact same position you were in for the Russian twist. So that means we're gonna get a nice good balance. Lean back, have our arms straight out, and you're gonna flood your arms up and down very, very rapidly. And make it a little bit harder, have your legs off the ground. So you're gonna flutter your arms up and down, up and down very quickly. Let's take it up. Work. Make sure you're breathing throughout this move. You're getting those core muscles nice and work. If you want, you can have your feet on the ground with this one, just like you did with the Russian twist. Lean it back and flutter as well. Looking good, looking good. Keep fluttering. Three more seconds. Perfect. Perfect. Let's take it back up in three more seconds. Work. Perfect. Keep working right here. This workout move is going to go ahead and make sure you're getting all the upper lower and the inner core of your muscles work in this move as you're fluttering you're keeping everything nice and stable and the stability is from your ab muscles and your back muscles which are all working in your core so right here here fluttering nice and quickly go ahead rest. And rest we're going to take it up for our final round of 100 let's go work looking good you guys Super proud of you for completing this workout. We are on the very last move. We have 15 more seconds. You are halfway through this move. Finish strong. Looking good. Five more seconds. Rest. Perfect. Go ahead and cool it off. Session so complete. Go ahead and get a nice cool down. So you're gonna come to sit in a circle or sit in a butterfly position. Go ahead and inhale it up and exhale it back down. Take it back up and back down. We're getting that heart rate back lowered and up and back down. On the next inhale, give yourself a big high five for completing this workout awesome job and back down we're going to go ahead and get your core muscles nice and stretched so you're going to get on your hands and knees you're going to go ahead and do cat cow pose so you're going to inhale and arch up for cat and exhale for cow you just flow through these moves a couple rounds feeling nice and loose Getting your core muscles nice and relaxed. And again.
her feet. Let's go ahead and extend your legs. We're gonna take it down to a seal pose. So flatten your legs out and just go ahead and take it right here to get your core and your back muscles nice and stretched. Take it back down and exhale it up. Back down and exhale it up. All right, again, my name is Talaya. Thank you for completing Awesome Abs with me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.